Okay, we're joined now by Matt Farniak, and first question for Matt will come from Parker Gabriel, Lincoln Journal Star. Hey Matt, how did you feel like uh, round two at, at center went compared to your first time uh, and just sort of gauge your comfort level there? And then second part of the question, what have you seen so far from, from Iowa's uh, defensive front? Um, it was a little more comfortable. I mean, obviously the second time around in anything that you do, you're going to be a little more fluid in it and uh, it felt more uh, at ease. And then Iowa, I mean, uh, they're always pretty similar to what they're going to do. They're a uh, they're a tough team. They're a physical team, and they don't really make mistakes. They kind of play on you making mistakes. So uh, it just comes down to the, they're a team that's got great discipline, and to beat them, you also have to have great discipline. Next question from Evan Bland, Omaha World Herald. Matt, just curious, when it comes to Iowa, I mean, what's the – frustration level with kind of this, this skid you guys are on against them and maybe what are a couple things that you can point to from the last couple games which have obviously come right down to the wire that if they flip the other way maybe this outcome is different this year um really it just comes down to doing the little things right I mean everyone wants to say it comes down to the last second field goal but all throughout the game there there might have been a, a, a missed block uh, a bad penalty a lack of focus, a misread. Um, a game really never comes down to one play. It, it comes down to a bunch of little things that add up. And uh, the beat a team like this that's extremely disciplined, you have to make sure that you're just as disciplined and doing everything right. Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Matt. Um, you've obviously been around Adrian for a long time. How has he responded, do you think? Obviously, the last couple of weeks have not been easy, um, but he had to go back in there for you guys, and he could be the guy again for you this week. How has Adrian responded in the last few weeks? Uh, he's responded really well. I mean, he's a competitor. He's always been a fighter, um, and that's really part of the reason he's a captain. I mean, he's a, he's a guy that he doesn't back away from a challenge. He always is going to stand up and fight no matter what the odds are, and uh, that's why he's, again, a leader on this team and a captain. He's... He's a guy that puts the team first before himself, and he's always he's always working to better himself and the team. Next question from Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Matt, uh, you've been around a while, and and I think we've always appreciated your your honesty and the way that you've been a captain. How, what's it like right now? Um, for, for you guys, I mean, you're, you're, a, you're a senior and you're playing with a lot of young guys. And, and I'm curious what that's like for you, um, that maybe your final year of football is kind of, kind of spent shepherding young players who've never gone through this before. And what's sort of the mood of the locker room after a loss to Illinois and before Iowa? Um, just mad. Um, Cause like I was saying earlier, I mean, we weren't a disciplined team. We didn't hold on to the ball. We made mistakes. And those, those were things that we could fix individually that we need to prep for individually. And um, I mean, really, it's just, it's, it's a good type of mad because everyone has a high standard for themselves and of each other. So, I mean, no one's happy with what we uh, did last week, but we can't change what happened. You can only change tomorrow. And so far, there's been a great response by uh, young guys and old guys of just working for tomorrow. Did you have to, I don't know, if step on a few guys a little bit this week in order to get that point home that, that, that there's a standard that needs to be kept? I'm talking about younger players, not necessarily older guys. Um, no, for the most part, the young guys, I mean, they get it. Um, they, they get the point of we're here to be competitors, and to be a competitor, you got to do the little things right. Um, case in point, I mean, sometimes uh, for uh, you kind of need those games. Uh, Illinois, they, they, had a, they, did, they did a great job. They were disciplined. They beat us, plain and simple. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I think it was a good uh, wake-up call for some guys of, hey, we need to be more disciplined. If we're going to be the team we want to be, we can't be making these mistakes that we did. Next question from Steve Sippel, Lincoln Journal Star. Sippel, I think you're on mute. Okay, there we, are we good now? How, how would you assess the offensive line's play 
at this point of the season? Um, we've been doing all right. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I tend to measure the success of a group by are we winning or losing? And obviously, we haven't been winning, so we need to find a way to be better. Uh, whether it's just and, it, and it's the little things, it's the little details, it's the hand placement, it's the steps, it's the communication. Um, obviously, they aren't good enough because we aren't winning yet. Um, so we just we need to be a better group and a better uh, unit as a team. What's Greg's message been to you this week, Austin? Um, big message is just uh, uh, small wins being better than who you were yesterday, focusing on those little things, such as hand placement, your steps, and the communication, because those little things add up to big things, even though they seem not important. Uh, if you stack all those little things together, they actually create quite a mountain that you'd have to climb if you ignore them. Thank you very much. That's all the questions that we have for Matt. We will have Casey Rogers momentarily as our last player today. Thank you, Matt.